first thing you're going to do is, as you're digging and as you're looking for more bone, you're always digging deeper to get to the bottom of the bone layer in the first place. If you find the first bone, you really want to make sure that you don't damage that original bone. So sometimes we cover them up in tin foil or wet paper towel just for a little while, and then you're digging back the cliff or whatever sort of outcrop you're in, and you start from the top and you work your way down to find more bone. You don't want to just dig straight in because you might end up breaking the bone in half in the process of finding it. So as you're digging, you're pedestaling out. So I mean, you have your one bone, so you're digging a circle of dirt around it, a nice pedestal, a column of dirt, and you're keeping a couple inches away from the bone to give it space so you're not going to dig right to the edge because you might end up chipping off pieces of bone. After you've got it pedestaled, you're going to need to protect the bone from the burlap that you're going to put on it later. So we took wet sand and placed that really gently on top or a paper towel that's wet to keep the burlap and the plaster from touching the bone because it'll stick to the bone and break it when the proprietor's trying to get it off again. And then afterwards, you get to put on the top jacket. So you mix your plaster with water and you mix your burlap into it and you wrap it all around and then you have to smooth it over very nicely because you don't want sharp edges to cut you. And then afterwards, after it dries, you can dig out the bottom of the pedestal that you've made in order to flip it back over again. And then in order to jacket it some more, you need to trim down the jacket so that it's not so heavy to carry out. So you trim off the extra burlap that you've put on there with all the plaster and dig out the dirt until you find bone again. And then you need to make sure those surfaces are protected. And most importantly, you need to add a label to the inside of the jacket because when you open the jacket, you need to know what you found. So we add information like the name of the site, the GPS location, the date, the field site, who dug it out, the county it was found in, just so we know what information we need when we get it back to the museum. Then you can add the top jacket, burlap and plaster again, making sure it's nice and smooth. And then finally, we add the extra information on top again, but you always keep it on the inside as well because this will probably wear off by the time it gets to the museum. And if it does, you need to make sure you have a record of where you found it and what it is.